listening to Big Blend Radio with Nancy and Lisa, and you just heard one of the songs from the brand new album by Kinetic Element. The song is called Lost Words, and uh, the album is the third album by Kinetic Element, and it's called The Face of Life, and we're really happy to have Mike Visaggio join us. He's the founder and keyboardist, and uh, he's been super kind in changing his appearance time with us because we had all kinds of wonderful tech issues today. But, uh, you know, we got it all together. It all worked out. And uh, go to their website, kineticelement.rocks. Hey, Mike, how are you doing? I am fine. Thanks for Just joining us. Out. Yeah, I found a place to pull the truck over to talk with you. Yeah, thank you. I know you're en route. You're en route. Cool. How big is this yeah, truck? It's a, it's a pretty typical 18-wheeler. This is... Uh, you know, in my genre of music, there's very few of us that are supporting ourselves through the music. We do the music as a labor of love. And mm-hmm. I've been a truck driver for 31 years now. I've got about 4 million miles under my belt. Wow. And uh, it's, it's just something that uh, I do uh, to pay the bills and pay, you know, pay the mortgage and everything else like that. But, uh, uh, you know, my passion has always been music. Uh, I, I played it in my early, in the earlier part of my life. I'm uh, six, well, going on 67 years old. Um, and if, in, the early, in my youth, I was the keyboard player with a, uh, a pretty darn good rock and roll band uh, that had a few albums out called Billy Falcon's Burning Rose. Uh, and, uh, cool. But I got away from music for a while because you might say I found it to be too harsh of a mistress. And uh, I decided that I, I didn't want to be hanging around with her any longer because I was tired of her pulling the rug out from under my feet all the yeah. time. But I guess uh, I guess about 12 years ago, um, something happened in my life, which would take me a long time to explain. But I knew it was time to get back in playing, and um, I decided to go put out a solo CD, and you know I've always liked progressive rock, which is uh, has its roots back in the 70s. Uh, I know, there's like something the about your music that makes us, I, you know, there's going through the album and listening to it, and I love it because there's to me a very positive message, and it's also very. I want to be outside, and I don't know if this is because you're driving and seeing, you know, the world as you drive, because, like, that would be my second thing in life is to be a truck driver. I always wanted, and thank you, truck drivers, because you've helped me. Well, we're we're about to go on the road full-time and be full-time travelers here, and three weeks today we'll be on the road uh, documenting the parks of America, um, but truck drivers have helped me with flat tires. Yep. They're the best. I, you know, when you find a good truck driver on the road and there's a storm or there's something crazy, I'm like, follow that dude. Follow yeah. him. <laughs> so I just want to say, number one, thank you for that. But the music, um, Jimmy, I, there's something about driving that the, the land inspires. You see so much and you, I don't know, there's something, it's like taking a hike in a, in a different speed. Do you have a connection with nature? Because your music to me just feels like I want to sit outside in the sunshine and, and just, well, I want, in, I want in, that. In this- well, in this respect, um, you know, my background is kind of like as a spiritual Christian. I'm not a religious person at all. Uh, okay. But, you know, I do I do believe that this was all put here by a creator. And uh, in the process of, uh, I guess, being out on the road, I, I've seen some pretty breathtaking scenarios uh, of scenery, you know, of everything from a... Uh, a uh, sunset going over the Great Plains, you know, to trying to get my way down Donner Pass in the snow, to you know, wow. uh, hanging, mm. hang, hanging out, uh, hanging out with farmers in Minnesota uh, and and uh, people that produce livestock, as I used to haul beef, and then of course I've been uh, all up and down the East Coast uh, most of the time, where I get to see uh, just kind of how everything is put together uh, and how mm-hmm. we, we all we all kind of are kind of connected. Uh, something that uh, I, I think, uh, you know, I'm all for the, indiv- for the liberty of the individual, but it's always within the context that uh, we all have something that we share in common. Uh, mm-hmm. And the, my music, to be honest with you, my lyrical themes are all based on the idea that it is just the most beautiful thing in life to know that you're a child of God 
and be secure in that, you know, and, and, and not be wondering uh, all the time and fretting, uh, you know, in other words, thinking about living, living in the moment with him, opposed to like the way a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of religious people, I think, are, are all bound up and getting ready to die, you know, uh, <laughs> and not that, not, that we can, not that we can afford, not that we can get away from that, but the thing is that uh, as you go through life, if you can manage to stay focused on what is good and beautiful in life uh, and keep looking at that. Uh, I think you, uh, in fact, that's kind of what the title of the face of life is about. Mm. There's a verse, there's a verse in first Corinthians says that when we look at, when we look at, you know, the Lord, who is a, basically the guy that embodied everything, everybody would like to be, you know, and, and the more that we, the more that we look at, at him, uh, you kind of become transformed into that. And it says that we, we all, as if we were looking into a mirror, are beholding the, the face of the Lord. And when you start seeing yourself and your life in that way, you can become transformed into that if you'll let it happen. And I guess that's kind of what all of this is, what all of this revolves around. You know, it's not a religious that's, thing to me, but it is a well, spiritual thing. Get- a spiritual thing, and then and you've been together since what 2006, the band. Well, I started doing this then. Uh, I've been with my drummer since 2006. He's been my indispensable guy because he has the, you know, he not only does have the sensitivity to interpret on the drums what it is I'm trying to bring out, but he also has fabulous recording skills, which I don't. <laughs> you know, so he is been my guy and uh, over the years you know we've we've gone through uh, a parade of other musicians uh, but yeah, uh, we seem happened. to have <laughs> we we seem to have settled on a lineup now that really is in tune with one another which is remarkable because uh, our, you know we're four of us live in Richmond Virginia and our guitarist lives in Irvine California and wow. so we had to uh, we well, our last guitarist decided he didn't want to continue with this project for reasons which I won't go into. But I was uh, we we had put out you know this, my solo CD and two band CDs, and over that time, uh, thanks to you know understanding how to network with the internet, I was able to uh, establish a bit of a following and. Uh, the progressive rock world definitely knows who kinetic element is. We've yes. played some of the, we've played some of the big progressive rock festivals, but we were, we were at it for 10 years before we finally got an opportunity to play at one of these festivals, which is kind of the thing you have to do in order to, uh, you know, solidify your bona fides in the, in the genre. But we finally did it after 10 years. And, uh, where where we are now is that uh, it, we probably are not going to be playing any shows because our guitarist lives three thousand miles away. But on the other hand, we do know that if we are successful in landing any more of the festivals, he will travel to play with us. And we've already started working on another album. Uh, he's uh, submitted a cool. couple of pieces that that we all like and. The other four of us are working on yet another one of these really long epics, as they call them. Um, uh, the next album is going to be themed around the Apollo moon landing project, which was a uh, that was the guitarist Peter Matushniak, who, by the way, is also a pretty well-known player in that genre. Peter uh, Peter had the idea that well, you know, this is the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Why don't we do something? with that and so uh, we we're working on something now called chasing the lesser light because the um in, in scripture uh it says uh, that God created two great lights the greater one to rule the day and the lesser one to rule the night and so we're looking at what had to happen in order for human beings to blast off and get there you know and that's kind of uh, and it's, and it's got the usual, you know, herky jerky uh, 
million different ideas kind of all rolled together into what we call an epic. It's going to be about an 18 minute long piece. So we're, wow. we're doing what we do well. We, we've become known for these long pieces. So. Well, that's what we're going to play now. You wanted us to play one, and we're, you know, I know that's very rare that, uh, you know, people can do that on shows, and I know we had some glitches today, but um, technical things happen. Um, I think we got beamed up. I, I, honestly, you, you talk about the Apollo, but I yeah. think that happened overnight with the, you know, the Borealis or whatever, something happened, and I don't know, the Internet went weird. But anyhow, we do have um, the face of life so we can play it so people can hear it which is epic. I well, think that's really cool that we get to do that. Well, you know, the uh, the genre of progressive rock became known for these very long pieces of music going back to the days of, yes, and Emerson, Lake, and Palmer in the early 60s, excuse me, in the early 70s. And in the last 20 years or so, the genre has experienced a resuscitation, shall we say, a, a revival. And there are a heck of a lot of really great progressive rock bands out there. Uh, and a number of them are doing these symphonic style pieces like we do. Uh, and if you listen to it, you'll you'll see why we call it symphonic, because it's one of the things you can do on the keyboards mm. uh, nowadays is that you can actually create, you know, orchestral effects. Uh, and so... Uh, it's something yeah. that I, you know, I've become fairly, fairly good at doing that. So, uh, and that's what's always been in my heart to do. But any, any of your listeners that find from listening to this that it's intriguing, all you have to do is put progressive rock in a search engine, and you will discover a world of incredible music that's waiting for Absolutely. you. It's been there for years. I know we've been covering a lot of progressive rock, and I think it's it's kind of made this um, – it hasn't died or gone away, but it's it's becoming kind of a bigger thing, I think. It's it's, it's getting out there a little bit more in, into the forefront um, from what we've seen here on Big Blend Radio. So um, we're going to play it, The Face of Life. It is such a pleasure having you on the show, and I'm so glad it worked out. And thank you for pulling over to call and talk to us, and we hope you drive safe. And in, where are you, though? Before you go, where are you? What, what's your scenery? Well, I've actually – I've actually just uh, nothing. There's nothing too wonderful here. I mean, I mean, everything's wonderful. There's plenty of nice trees and grass around. But I'm actually uh, in Richmond, right around the corner from my home terminal, uh, parked across the street from a Wawa. So, uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, well, I, get, hey. I, I, I can go. I can go in there and get myself one of their famous soft pretzels. I guess. Oh, good. I want one. That sounds like a good thing for today. That nice pretzel with some mustard. So, everyone, we're going to play it. The Face of Life. I'm so glad we get to do this. And, uh, everyone, you can go to the website. It is kineticelement.rocks. And uh, go get the album, keep up with them, and watch for the next one because that's going to be super epic. And we're going to play this now. I want to thank everyone for joining us. We'll be back on Sunday with our Champagne Sunday show talking about England and California because why not? That's what we do. That's cool. That's a long truck drive, Mike, <laughs> between yeah, England and much. California. I'm glad I don't, have to, I don't have to go to the West Coast anymore. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Well, thanks so much. Here it is, everyone, the face of life. Keep up with us at BigBlendRadio.com. Take care, Mike. You too. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. 
understanding what is lost and what is found. Thinking in the bowels of the buds that sting. Feeling of your feet on solid ground. Walking through a darkness so completely. 